Are you considering buying a Toro snowblower? We're going to go in depth whether you're considering a small single stage snowblower or maybe a more commercial grade. We're gonna do a deep dive and talk about all the different models that Toro has to offer. Now Toro has a long standing tradition of producing great snowblowers and on top of just great equipment, right? There's gonna be great resources that they have to offer as well. I will have a link in the description that will give you this exact pamphlet so you can see all the details in which I'm speaking about here. But let's talk about all the different options that Toro has before we get into the nitty gritty on certain and specific models. So first of all, Toro is going to give you a single stage and it's going to be what they call their power clear. As you move up the line, they are going to give you a Snowmaster, which is something more of like a hybrid, which is in between that single and dual stage snowblower that they offer. So then they're gonna give you this Power Max option. And within the Power Max, they have the Power Max heavy duty options. And then what I don't have here because of the weather conditions here in Michigan is their TRX series, which is their commercial level. But we will talk about that as well. And then just besides that, all this were the gas options. There's a multitude of 60 volt options that I will speak about as well. Now, whether this is a first time purchase and you've never had a snowblower before, or maybe you've started with something in this size and you want to go over to the big commercial one, uh, this video definitely will help you. I can remember when I was growing up, right? And I did not have a snowblower growing up. I had just a shovel. And I remember back in the day, mom would get me out of bed before school, right? It's like 5 a.m. And I had to shovel a very long driveway. And I can tell you what, that's about the worst thing. And that's to me the, the beauty of equipment because it takes this very negative experience to something you actually look forward to doing. And, you know, for me personally, when I, uh, you know, before opening this dealership and talking to giving you guys all these cool videos, uh, you know, I was a high school math teacher, right? And it was another teacher that actually said, I've got this older yard machine, two stage snowblower, and you know, I'll sell it to you for cheap. And so I said, you know what? I'm tired of shoveling. I had now gotten married kids, all, all that. And I said, I'm not going to do the same thing when I was growing up and man, did it make a world of difference to have the right piece of equipment. And what I started out with was a two stage snowblower. And, you know, I'm gonna go through with Toro, again, the small single stage snowblowers, and I'll explain what that means, up to these larger two stage snowblowers. You know, there's some, there's some differences, right? And what will be best for you, I hope to give you that information right here in this video. So in the power clear option, you're gonna start right here at their power clear 518, ZR. Now you gotta understand as I talk about some of these different options, what do all of these letters mean within the system? The five is something to do with the motor size that it has. The 18 is the clearing width. So it would be an 18 inch clearing width. And then the ZR in this case stands for a recoil start. You can get this in a ZE, which is an electric start option. And most all of their electric start options are also gonna have a recoil option as well. You're gonna pay a little bit more for that. So for that 18 inch model, you're gonna have that 99cc engine. If you bump up to their 700 series, which right over here, we've got a 721E, you're gonna notice you've got a more ergonomic handle. You see that's a little more comfortable there. And 700 is going to be, again, kind of talking about a series level, and this is gonna be a 212 cc engine. So you got a bigger engine, 721. The 21 is a 21 inch clear. And this exact model right here is a 721E for that electric start. Again, you could get this in a recoil start as well. So right behind it, I have a commercial 821 RC. And the 821, the eight is gonna, again, talk about that engine size. So you're going to go up to a 252 cc engine when you go up to the 800 series. And the only other thing that's going to change when you move up to the commercial from the residential grade is you're going to have a thicker, better paddle that's on there. It's going to last longer. So they're going to set you up with a better paddle. And the only other small detail is just going to be a more reinforcement here for the handle. They have some kind of quick knobs here that you can fold this up and move it around a little bit. This one, they're just putting, making a little heavier duty component there to have bolts. And then lastly, 
when you get up to this 800 series, this is kind of their Cadillac of the single stage snowblowers, you can get the 821 QZE. That Q is a new kind of letter combination, right? And that's gonna be standing for, I think something to do with a quick shoot, right? So it's gonna be a little bit easier to change the angle of the shoot. You can do that with these other models. You would just have to come up by hand to move that and you can move this also by hand. Uh, so this one is just a little bit nicer that you don't have to reach over and change that as well. That's kind of one extra added element that you're gonna get at this level. So we're kind of moving up in class, right? And back, if we look down at the paddles here, this was a single stage setup. Now, a single stage is gonna work really well on a hard surface. You're not gonna wanna use a single stage snowblower when you've got gravel, dirt, things of that nature, because it's going to really get right down to the surface and it's gonna clean something like a hard surface really well. But if you have gravel, that's when you're gonna wanna go to more of like a two-stage setup. Now, a traditional two-stage setup is gonna look more like what we've got in the Power Max series, which I will talk about, but Toro classifies this as an inline two-stage snowblower. And when you look at this, almost kinda reminds me more of like a DNA strand, I guess, if you can picture what that looks like, because it kind of twists around itself. And what it's doing is it's pushing the snow to the middle and then up the chute. And it resembles more of a traditional two-stage as well. Now, everything else, you know, as you get into some of these other ones, they have what's called the power propel system, which is gonna give you a little more help, you know, when you're pushing along, right? Well, with this, you actually have, similar to what they have on their push mowers, this personal pace, that when you push it, there's a transmission there that's gonna help you along the way. And this is where they're gonna introduce their quick stick. And this is really slick, kind of similar to what you had here, but a little bit better system, that you can push this down and you can go forward and backwards, which is gonna be up or down as far as where that snow kicks, or you can kick it left or right. And that's just really slick you know, they're compared to some of the other systems that are out there. And so this exact model being the 724 QXE, you guys are probably getting down with the acronyms, you know, as far as how that goes. 700 again is gonna talk about that engine size. So this is a 212 CC, 24 is 24 inch clearing. And that's gonna be your only options is to have a 24 inch clearing with when you go with the Snowmaster. The Q again with the quick stick is what that's standing for. And so that's kind of gives you one specific model here. They've got a couple. You can go up to an 824 QXE as well. And I don't know about you guys, but if you're looking to get your man card, maybe get some of those hairs on your chest, this is where you should be looking. This to me is where you're getting a big burly machine. And don't get me wrong, ladies, because I don't want this to intimidate you. I would actually argue that this might be easier to operate than something over here because when you get to this class of snowblower, you have options to give self-propel and then you can turn the auger on with the other handle. So let's kind of talk about some of those things that are unique and proprietary to Toro. Why, if you're thinking about the two stage, why Toro is just a little bit better than some other options that are out there. So first of all, they do not have shear pins. Imagine when you are going along, pushing down the driveway and you hit a big rock what happens in almost every other brand is they have shear pins. And why do they have shear pins? It's to protect your machine and the engine from failure, okay? It's got little points in it that break and shear off and that actually protects your machine. But what that means is make sure you have shear pins because you're gonna have to go in and put a new shear pin in. Well, what's different with Toro is they have a hardened steel bolt that is not designed to shear, but they have designed the engine so that it will shut off if it gets something like a big rock or something else that is in there. So the last thing I would want to do on a cold, wet, dark morning is probably dealing with shear pins. And you don't have to worry about that with Toro. Another unique thing is you're gonna see a lot less clogging when you get to a two-stage snowblower with Toro. And if you look from this kind of center point, it's not a perfect circle that you're gonna see inside here. It's a little bit of an oblong, and you'll notice there is kind of a cutout over here. And the purpose of that, they call it their anti-clogging system. Well, the snow has to go somewhere, right? And if it's really heavy, built up, it's gotta come up. 
Well, in other systems that they don't have anywhere for the excess snow to go, it's gonna just chunk up and just stay right in there and clog up. Well, with Toros, that wet snow is gonna kick to the side, come back into the auger, mix up, and then go up. And so that's gonna lead to a lot less clogging issues. So some unique things within Toro. So let's talk specifically about this Power Max, and they call this their compact series. But again, just like before, it's gonna have this really nice quick stick option and a couple different classes here within this. You have the 824, you have an 826, and you can move all the way over here to an 826 OHAE. And this is kind of their more Cadillac of these options because there is no light on here. They do give you that. This is a 24 inch model. This is a 26 inch model where they do add a light, but when you go up to the OHAE series, you're also gonna get heated hand grips with that. So that's really nice. Again, if you want that premium quality, you're gonna get that with this snowblower right here. And again, if I come back to what I said earlier, get this one if you're looking to get that man card. Now going back to the Snowmaster and now onto this Power Max, you are always going to get an electric start option and Toro is always going to give you a recoil start option as well in case you do have an issue with your starter, you can't get access to plug something in. So keep that in mind as well. And I did mention if you have a hard surface, something like this, then you can use a single stage snowblower. Now if you have something that's gravel or a rougher surface, then definitely do not use the single stage. That's where you're gonna wanna use a two stage. And they have these little feet that are on the side of these models and you can adjust these to go up or down. And so if I move the shoes down, that's gonna leave a little more clearance if I have something like rocks or other things I don't wanna dig into. But what that's gonna mean is it's gonna leave a little bit of material behind. It's not gonna go quite as clean, but if you have a hard surface and you wanna move your shoes all the way up, you can get a pretty darn clean pass as you go through there, but nothing's gonna clean it quite as well as a single stage option. That kind of leads me to our next class, which unfortunately I don't have here where I can put my hands on, but of course you guys are gonna see things on the screen here as I talk about these different models. But here in Michigan, a single stage snowblower is really gonna work quite well and, and cover most capabilities. Now we have some two stage options that of course people want bigger, badder, they get longer driveways. And this is for our region gonna really cover most of what you may possibly see. Now the class that is above this, above that compact class is the PowerMax heavy duty two stage. And when you were in the class below this, you had 24 and 26 inch options. Well, you can go from 28 inch options all the way to 32 inch, so much bigger. They're gonna be set up very similar, you know, as to what I have here in that compact class, but you're gonna have a much larger clearing width. So the first one in the class above this is a PowerMax HD 828 OAE. So the 800, again, is gonna talk about that engine size, which will give you that 252 cc engine, which is gonna give you that much more power to shoot snow. You can go then from the PowerMax HD 828 OAE up to a PowerMax HD 1030 OHAE. And you can go all the way up, because I've told you guys about these acronyms, to a commercial PowerMax HD 1432 OHXE. And when you do that, you can go all the way up to a 420 cc engine. When you get into this class, you're gonna see being able to throw the snow up to 45, all the way up to 60 feet. So far more power, bigger clearing width, you can just do a lot more. And yes, I guess if you do want the man card, you can move up to that class, but know that the last class would at least get you there too. And lastly, Toro has the Power TRX Heavy Duty Two Stage. It's TRX stands for track. So that's gonna be some track options. And if you are in some very heavy snow areas, that's where you may want the tracks option. The TRX series is only for the commercial grade machines. They have a 1428 OHXE and they also have a 1432 OHXE. And so again, you're gonna have a 28 inch or a 32 inch option there and you can get through anything with those tracks. And so that's gonna be 
a five-year warranty as opposed to you start out with a three-year warranty in those smaller uh, machines as well. Now, if you don't like the gas, if you don't wanna deal with the ethanol in the carburetors, then electric may be for you. The smallest electric option that they have is right here. This is a power clear, kind of like they had in the gas, a power clear, and they call it the E21, electric 21 inch option. And you, just like the other side, can go up to two stage options. There are some options in between this, and there are actually some brand new models. They have uh, a SP single stage power clear snowblower, which is new this year. And they also have the equivalent to the Snowmaster that is coming out this year as well in an electric option. Now, if you go up and above that, that's when you'll jump to this two-stage option. And what's really cool about the two-stage, honestly, if I had a kind of medium-sized driveway, this is probably the exact model I would personally like to get. They have this in a 24-inch and they have it in a 26-inch option. And to me, this looks really cool. It's got almost like a V-twin engine type of setup, and it comes standard with two batteries, and you can optionally purchase a third, or maybe if you have even something else, like you bought their blower or you bought a trimmer, you're gonna have an extra battery on hand, and you can use that in this third port right here. But the electric options, I mean, to me, they're really cool. If you turn this on, uh, it's really quiet, right? The whole machine is on, you guys can hear me talking, it shows battery life, and here I am inside the building, and it's not a big deal to turn this on. There's the auger, and then it's in reverse right now. I can go forward, and just like everything else, it's got the quick stick uh, on it. Again, it's all, you know, you're gonna be probably worried, right, about how long will that battery last. They say that this one can clear up to 24 cars, and if you add a third battery, you can get even more. So I always like to tell people, if you go for those electric options, look at what it's rated for and you know are you half of that amount or are you three quarters of that amount that's where i can safely recommend one of the electric options to you guys as well so that was a really big overview of all of these if you enjoyed this sure we are in the winter time i have a very similar video that you guys could check out on my channel that is about the Toro zero turn options. Maybe you have really big acreage and you can appreciate a video like that. We have lots of videos like this on the channel, so definitely subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next one.